the great thing about this program is that um, there's a lot of random numbers and colors so it's not all the same not all the same colors or same sizes and mostly the computer picks all the numbers for me so that way I don't have to keep figuring out how to work it all out and it doesn't take me like a very long time getting a lot of random numbers for the color the size and how how big it will be so yeah what I like about this program is that you can use random to make the scratch move however you want and it takes a lot of trial and error to get the right numbers to make it do spirals or to make it do squares and stuff. In this program that I'm making, I'm, which I haven't fully finished yet, I'm using this, which is called a Pico board with a slider. And you can control it with the bar at the bottom, the paddle that's moving like this with the score and the sensor and I used some maths to figure out how to multiply and minus with it I had to do that so the paddle would move fully across the screen instead of halfway um, so what this is my game's about, it has all these different things where you can go, have to go through the maze and make your way through the way, maze, and Sally the starfish has to get to the treasure, and, and when she gets to the treasure, she will say yay treasure, but by doing that you have to get around very tight corners and follow the sand path through the water, and if Sally the starfish touches the blue water she will she will go back to the beginning and lose a life when I press the green flag the light I will have 10 lives and the, how I got the lives was I went into the variables and then I went into make a variable and then I went in, typed in lives and then I then I did change lives by minus one and then and then, uh, so every time Sally touches the blue, she goes back to the beginning and loses a life. And so, she, and if she touches the blue, she will say, ah, and she, for two seconds. And when she gets to the end, it's, I, I still haven't worked out, but when she gets to the end, how to stop the game. Because <laughs> it's like, it, when I get to the end, I move, and then it has to go back to the beginning because I touched the blue and then I have to start all over again and get to the treasure again. It's a very fun game because you can do all these different things and try and work out how it works, how it can work.